So we're here with a quick PJ5 update. Um, we've now got the final boards in for the original register board, final board for the uh, multiplier, final board for the divider, final board for the ALU and the bit shift. We've got the final board for the program counter, the new instruction decode, which is faster, and the final board for the special register board. So these don't have any mod wires on, which is really good. Um, we are going to be replacing this board because we want to move these um, till 311 hex displays onto the bus board. And we also want to change the program um, instruction output from binary to hex because it's kind of difficult to read that. Um, so that's good. The clock board is not the final board. There is a slight change needed for that. But I will show you now if I press reset, switch it on. So here we go. Um, the key thing for us now is our delay between the two clock cycles is 200 nanoseconds rather than 250 from before. So this is very important because it now means we can actually run at four MIPS. So what you're seeing here is 60 hertz for clock rate. And if I press switch it off if I set it to four MIPS power it on and then are you ready for this you're not going to see a lot you're just going to see a blink a fox and the display um, that's a successful run at four MIPS we can press the reset button and it does it again it's kind of boring um, because it's just so solid and stable which is really good um, so I do it again there we go. So yeah, we can now run at four MIPS, which is fabulous. Um, we're both really excited and finally chuffed. Yeah. Um, we aimed for one MIPS, we've now got to four. Yeah. Um, we're, getting yeah. some, we're getting some glitches on the displays. Yeah, we do get the occasional glitch on these displays. But um, that's, that's an issue with the displays, not with the CPU core. So yes. the CPU core, as far as we need to tell, is fine. Yeah, um, we do have an extra... Um, control on this on the flags register so what we'll be able to do is toggle the uh, clock board speed so you'll be able to run the core at four mips and then you can write to the display at two mips um, or whatever speed you want depending on what peripherals we decide to make for it so yeah there we go uh, if i let go again boom four mips never thought we'd get here but we have um yeah, super exciting. Uh, let's reset it, set it into low speed mode. Okay, and you can see it running at 60 hertz. Um, yeah, and everything runs fine. And we didn't have to make any mod wires on the new board. Yeah, we got the new boards right. No mod wires. Well, Woohoo! We, 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 we may have had to change a few part values. Yes, we have um, changed a couple of part values. Uh, some, some, some OR gates became AND gates. But apart from that, <laughs> there's, there's, that was just a chip change, so there's no mod wires. Yeah, so we can now reproduce this um, and yeah, things are going really well now. And here we are again with slightly dim lights just because you can see the blinking lights a bit more. So this is 60 hertz, um, doing all the register tests and shift tests and everything else. And then I'm going to reset it. I'm going to toggle it into high speed mode and a fox will magically appear. There we go. So, all looking good. As you can see, there is a slight glitch in the fox. He's only got one eye. Um, if I reset it, I get both. So there is the odd glitch in the display board, but that's fine. We knew that would happen. So, so if we run it at two MIPS, you'll see the fox behaves properly every time. Reset. Boom. So yeah, we definitely have a slight issue with the writing the speed to the display things, uh, but that's fine. We can live with that. We've got the ability to switch between clock modes. Well, we'll have when we've done the new clock board. So yeah, here we are running very happily at two MIPS with everything working or four MIPS with the old glitch in the display. So yeah, we have a four MIP, one instruction per clock cycle. 8-bit uh, processor with hardware divide, hardware multiply, bit shifting, and all the other cool things. Yay!